All right, welcome back to Fierce Network's coverage of MWC Barcelona. I'm here in Keyside's booth and we're going to talk all 6G. Jesse, thanks for joining us. Great to see you here in Barcelona once again. Can you tell us perhaps what's coming up over the next 12 months in terms of 6G uh, development? Sure, we'll see a lot of research around spectrum technologies and we're expecting a lot of uh, research also for new technologies that are coming into with 6G into mobile networks, so around AI ML, uh, sensing, and also around um, all that is uh, reconfigurable intelligence services as well. So all of these areas will be researched over the next year until we move to forward to the release 20 with some study items and so forth. So on that point, Jesse, in terms of release 20 and onwards, what are some of those key milestones we should be looking uh, forward to or, or keeping in mind as we move in that direction towards 60? In a couple of um, in a couple of weeks, actually, we're going to have some 3GPP meetings. Uh, out of those, we're going to know some of the study items. Then we'll be finalized over in somewhere in the summer, June, and then we'll move on to work items with release 21. So that's that's what we're looking at in terms of standards coming up for 6G. Great. And so moving on to the specifically what goes into 6G, Ledi, could you talk to us a little bit about? AI. I know it's the buzzword, right, everyone talks about, but surely it has a growing and important role to play with 6G. Certainly. Um, I think AI, as you said, is not just a buzzword, but it's become a reality even in the 5G advanced time frame right now. Um, but 5G uh, has AI more as an afterthought. Uh, for 6G, we really expect it to be integrated right from the beginning uh, in a very native way. Uh, and so architectures may change in order to adopt AI in a more wholesome manner. Uh, and uh, AI is, um, uh, you can look at it as a super optimizer, if you will. Uh, right now the 3G, you know, the, the standard uh, and the technology is built in layers and each layer we take a certain level of complexity and optimize it. Um, and we do it just because of reasons of the, the level of optimization, the number of variables that are in the wireless uh, overall radio access network, which is huge. But going forward with the power of AI and the power of the, you know, the, the computing that it brings together, uh, you can think of you know, putting multiple layers together and optimizing them to much greater impact. Right now we are seeing very early stages uh, of experimentation of AI in the physical layer. For example, we are showing a demo with Samsung Research and NVIDIA as part of the AI RAN Alliance work. Uh, to show the effect and the impact of channel estimation with AI on the performance of the uplink data. Uh, but uh, there is a lot, lot more in the pipeline like CSI compression and uh, beam management and positioning our current you know, uh, study items in 3GPP and may get some rudimentary sort of specification in the, in the late 5G, but really will mature in the 6G time frame and, and once you move beyond the sort of the physical layer and, and you know just the radio access network, there is so much to do all the way up and down the network in terms of optimizing traffic patterns, mobility, um, and almost anything that you can think of. And one additional aspect I would say is that um, uh, there is a new paradigm shift in thinking in terms of how to deploy base stations. Uh, people are thinking of them as data centers now uh, and the possibility of sharing workload between the RAN network and just uh, generic AI workload for any other application during the off-peak hours of the usage of, of the of the you know wireless network. So these open up new possibilities, and we Keysight are involved in all of these areas. We have an AI workload modeling solution uh, that we are also showing here uh, at MWC, and it's going to be highly impactful in terms of optimizing the the infrastructure of the data centers for the purpose of AI and RAN. To close, if I could ask you to give us the one key message or one thing that you really want our viewers and folks perhaps that you share with already, what's that one thing you want them to walk away? Shall we start with you first? Um, the, the impact of AI and the availability of explosive amount of computing power will enable the physical world and the virtual world to come together in new ways. I think that will be the real impact of 6G. Excellent, and Jesse, how about you? Well, apart from that, I think 
um, you know, 5G still needs to be monetized. So a lot of the technologies that um, are with, with 5G will evolve with 6G. So some of these technologies like NTN, for example, it's a good example of that. So I think this, this is one of the key points that we'll, we'll see as we move from 5G to 6G is that we'll take, we'll take some of these technologies with us. It, it will be more than um, the, the new technologies that we're bringing in that I was mentioning earlier as well. Excellent. Well, thank you both for your time and have a great show.